We're learning more about the U.S. Marine Corps pilot killed in a jet crash during a training mission. It happened Thursday night near the Marine Air Ground Combat Center, 29 Palms. NBC 7's Matt has more from MCAS Miramar, where the pilot was stationed. A sad day for Marines here at the Marine Corps Air Station. The experienced pilot took off from here before he was killed in a pre-deployment training exercise. This Marine was a, was a top performer, a uh, stellar Marine by all accounts. Major Richard Norton, one of the best and brightest Hornet pilots our nation had to offer. Those are the words of Commanding Officer Colonel William Swan. On Thursday, the 3rd Marine aircraft wing pilot flew his FA-18C Hornet out of MCAS Miramar. The flight was part of a pre-deployment training exercise at Marine Air Ground Combat Center 29 Palms. An experienced guy who's given a lot to the country and his family has sacrificed a lot already. At around 10.30 p.m., Norton's training mission turned deadly and now, when the single-seat jet crashed. You know, paying the ultimate sacrifice. 36-year-old Norton was a Marine for 11 years, serving in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and deploying to Japan several times. An amazing pilot, amazing Marine, amazing Marine officer. Um, so just a huge, a huge hit. Authorities are now investigating the crash as family members prepare to lay their loved one and one of our nation's heroes to rest. We definitely all, just as Americans, have a great debt of gratitude to uh, Major Norton and his family. And Norton leaves behind a wife. There is a fund set up to help out the family during this difficult time. You can find the link on our website and on my Facebook page. Matt Rascone, NBC7.